Well, good morning. Welcome to At Dawn. We're going to look at Mark chapter 1, verses 9 through 11, and we're going to get to see Jesus, which is our goal here. So here's what it says. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So here is Jesus at last. It's the beginning of his ministry. And what do we see here? Jesus comes, he's baptized, and Mark doesn't dwell a lot on that, but he does dwell on something. When he comes up out of the water, immediately there's this divine endorsement. I mean, after all, this is the Creator. This is the Messiah. He's coming into his creation. And so you have this extraordinary endorsement. The heavens are torn, literally the t torn open in the original language here. And what do we see? We see the Holy Spirit coming in the form of a dove. He's descending. There's, a, there's some divine endorsement there. He's going to descend and alight upon Jesus. This is an anointing uh, showing Jesus giving, being given the divine seal of, of approval here that this is indeed Messiah. And then we have the voice of the Father from heaven crying out, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Now there's going to be a time later in Jesus' ministry when he feels totally alone. He's, he's there on the cross. He's, he feels absolutely alone in the Garden of Gethsemane. He feels totally abandoned. The Father is certainly everywhere, and, and, but Jesus is, na is not able to sense his presence, and he feels utterly, totally isolated and separated. So it's important here at the beginning of Jesus' ministry, the Father shows uh, Jesus that you... You're fully endorsed. You're ready to go. We know that. We're all with you. And so immediately Jesus embarks on his ministry, so to speak, here. This is one of those words you see a great deal in this gospel. It's kind of a marker immediately. The gospel of Mark is uh, Jesus, everything he does virtually, everything that happens in the gospel of Mark is something that happens immediately. So here we have it. Jesus is endorsed. His ministry is going to begin. And heaven is totally on Jesus' side. And, he want, and God the Father wants Jesus to know it. So that's how Jesus begins his work. An important day as the beginning of Jesus' ministry comes forward here. So we're going to begin to see Jesus now in the Gospel of Mark. Let's have a word of prayer together. Dear Father in heaven, what a glorious day that must have been. And to see these supernatural signs and hear the supernatural uh, voice from heaven, this is my, you're my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. These would be important pieces for Jesus under the extraordinary duress of his entire life uh, ministry in these closing years of, you know, very active ministry. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for those divine endorsements. And we know that when Jesus is endorsed, that the plan of Jesus is endorsed. Jesus, our Lord, is endorsed. And so this is important for us. Jesus is our Lord. Jesus is come to his people. Bless us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. So Jesus is on the job, and he still is on the job even today, still finishing up. We're right near the end, but here's the beginning, and it's a very interesting beginning indeed. God be with you today.